Oh yeah, Japan just got a new flying boat, boys. Look at this thing. Look at the awesome clouds. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another World Thunder video. Today we're taking out the H8K3. This is a premium Japanese bomber that was just added to the game. A battle rating 3.3 in realistic battles. Comes equipped with 10 turrets. Five of them have 7.7mm uh, machine guns. Five of them have 20mm cannons. This has got some firepower. In this first clip, we're going to take a look at the damage model. We are on a mixed battle map, unfortunately. We got, we've even got the Germans against us. That's that's all. That's how fun this is going to be. Got a flock wolf trailing us. He's, he's shooting his machine guns, but uh, they're not hitting us yet. Uh, the, the damage model on this is surprisingly good. Like, as long as you're going up against small caliber machine guns. We took out an AI IL-2. Wasn't my intent, but you know, AI gunners are doing their thing. And that brings me to the first point that I wanted to make, and that is all the footage that you see is going to be with a, a fully upgraded crew. This is this plane is on my, my primary fighter slot for Japan, and every crew member is 5 plus 3. So you get your base 5, and then the plus 3 is because I have the expert crew on. I didn't I didn't spend the, the gold on ace crew because that doesn't seem necessary. Uh, 5 plus 3 is good enough for everything. So weapons reloading is, is uh, as, as high as it's going to go short of using the, the ace crew. And there we go. Uh, gunners didn't take him out, so I had to man the guns myself. And you can see that the power of the 20 mils is, is fantastic. Of course, the reload is its really frustrating when you get n a number of fighters on your tail, as is the case here. I got a couple guys trailing me, and I got a couple guys in front of me. It would be nice to have uh, almost instantaneous uh, reload, but that's just part of the part of the deal. At least at least we get the ability to reload our guns in the midair. Because that would be unbelievably frustrating as a bomber pilot. Now you'll notice I, I've taken quite a number of shots. Most of them are small caliber, uh, 7.7, 7 7.9s, or whatever. The, all, the, all the nations have a variety of different uh, different calibers. Lots of gunfire coming in. Most of them are machine guns. Got a couple of cans in there, thanks to that P38 that's decided to join the fight. And from my my. Oh, from all my flying, I've taken this out in 10 battles so far. The most dangerous planes that I've fought are anything with 50 cals, American 50 cals, or 20mm machine guns. Anything that has 7.7s, uh, they do nothing to this thing. But a P-38 with 20 mils and 50 cals, that, that, that thing will tear this, this, little, this little flying boat apart. Fires are a problem, but they're not as bad as I would expect. They tend to go out more often than not, in my experience. Which is surprising, considering all the fuel tanks that this thing has. In this next clip, we're going to be dropping our bombs. We're going to show the bombing capabilities of this uh, this uh, bomber. After all, it is what it's, what it's meant to be. It's, you know, it's a bomber. It's supposed to be dropping bombs on targets. And what I found is that bombing should not be your primary, t uh, your primary goal. To me, bombing with this thing is kind of silly in the sense that you've only got a certain amount of bombs that you can use. I'm using the 250 kilogram bombs. It's it's what I would recommend you, you using because what I use my bombs for is the is the experience. It's to gain additional uh, research points and additional lines. This is just easy money, basically, is how, is how I, look, I look at it. I played 10 games. I'm averaging 30,000 lines per game. It's so easy. My my best match, I think I had a uh, hundred thousand in lions. So your ability to bomb targets, it's nice, but it doesn't really help the match as far as turning the game your way. It doesn't win. It what doesn't win the game. What I what I think of my my role when I'm, when I'm flying this thing is as a bomber interceptor and as a fighter interceptor. Think of yourself as a as another fighter, basically. Just you happen to be enormous, slow. Relatively speaking, but you have so many good guns. You have ten turrets on this little bad boy. Just calling out the fighters so that my teammates know where everyone is. Flak is pretty bad on this map. Um, you see, the flak is constantly going past me at my plane. 
few of them hit me. I got my, my plane yellowed in the damage model, but I haven't actually been shot down yet by the AAA. Not going wood though, just because I know someone will get shot down. Uh, Yak one is is on my tail. He's he's making some he's making some ground up. You see me? I, I'm actually pretty confident I'm gonna actually engage this guy. So man the gunners. By the way, I'm flying with with a uh, Spitfire. He's, he's one of my subscribers. He, he probably gives, you guys are probably familiar with seeing him here, as well as on on other YouTubers. This Yak is a little difficult to hit. And I'm, I'm frankly not the best as it comes to aiming these, these guns. Hits. Lots of hits. But my god, look at all the flak. Got, got his his machine guns coming in. There's just all kinds of, of potential for things to go wrong here. Oh, he's opening up. And he stopped firing. Where'd he go? Oh, that explains it. <laughs> He had a little too much damage to continue. Not only did this plane come out as as part of a patch, but we've actually got new clouds, we got new atmospheres. I'm I'm really enjoying the look of this of this game now that the uh, update has come out. I'm gonna have to update my graphics drivers though, and and test out how how everything looks when I get those uh, up, upgraded and, and uh, up, maybe even up my graphics quality to. I think it's maximum or movie. I think movie's the best. Um, right now I've got it on high or very high or something like that. It's basically because of, of tank games. They they tend to tank my my frame rate, so I've been using uh, like high high quality with anti-aliasing on. And even then, I'm I'm still pretty happy with the with the overall look of the game. All right, here here they come, boys. Got a whole swarm of them coming in. Got a yak one making making his uh making his entry. He's opening up. He puts a pretty good hit into me. But I put a, I put a good hit into him. Immediately dives away. I'm surprised that he didn't go, go for altitude and boom and zoom. He instead gave up his altitude right away. Which shows me he's probably not an experienced pilot. You can see that right aileron is pretty badly damaged. Tail section as well. But again, it all goes back to the, the damage model on this is actually quite good. I really have to hand it to Gaijin for, for working on the damage model because it's it's actually making a, flying a bomber fun. It doesn't matter which one of these guys is going to drop down on me. And Spitflyer, unfortunately he's a little too low in my opinion. He should be climbing up a little bit. I don't need my wingman to be right on my ass like this. I need, I need him to be up, up a little higher. Just one little, one little criticism for for Spit. But yeah, look, just look at this game. It's beautiful. If I'm gonna, I'm, if I'm gonna be a mobile gunship, I'm gonna have to get in the fight. So I'm gonna have to turn around and engage these guys. And here we go. Got, got a customer. I-16. Got to turn. Got to get my, my primary gunner. In, in view here. He's hitting me. I can't hit the broadside of a barn right now. Come on, Jim. Aim those guns. I don't want to jam the guns, though. I'm, I'm, yeah, sparks, sparks, sparks. There we go. I got a hit. Central gear leg, so he, he can't land. Great. <laughs> I'm sure he's really pissed about that. Meanwhile, my gun was reloading. One of the issues that I, ha that I have had is the the back gunner will get killed every once in a while. He'll be slumped over in his in his gunner seat, and after that after that happens, you're pretty much screwed, because then you're depending on your your enemy to get alongside you or in front of you, so that those other gunners can do something. And here I I nearly bit the dust because there's been so much damage to my ailerons as well as my my tail section. My elevator has seen better days. There are a lot of holes in this thing. You can see the side gunners opening up. But the I-16 has no interest in me. He's actually headed back to base to get uh, fresh guns and uh, a repair, I would imagine. So with him out of the fight, essentially, we're going to head back to base. Or head back into the fight, actually, and uh, see if we can actually shoot something down. I'm not going to go anywhere near that base AAA. LA-5 went underneath me. 
it's not coming back at me, so I'm going to continue on. A couple of fighters in the distance. Spitfire is showing some interest towards him. So we have a, an ally in need of, of our assistance. And you know me, I'm a, I'm a team player. Even if I'm on a bomber, I'm going to go help somebody. I-153 on, on the tail of our 7M. So I'm going to go over there and give him a hand, actually. Uh, the A7 is a very good fighter, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, I-153 is an incredible turn fighter, so you can very easily get yourself into a, a bad situation. That's where you need a flying boat to come to your rescue. <laughs> yes, we're going to go we're going to go save this guy. Yes. <laughs> uh, when was the last time you had, you were saved by a bomber, right? Yeah. I was going to hope I was going to continue after this LA5, but he unfortunately returns to base as well. He he didn't want any of my candy. So, we're going to go ahead and fast forward to towards the end of this battle where I engage another LA-5. And here we are. We've joined up with another H-8K. Uh, my engine has unfortunately begun to die. My engine has been overheating this entire game and it's it's on its last leg, unfortunately. We do have an LA-5 just above us. He decided to uh, dive on both of us, actually, so we're going to work together and hopefully take this guy down. Here we go, he's not flying uh, evasively, now he's coming right at me, and that makes him a very easy kill. But fighters aren't the only target we can go for. In this clip, we've dropped our bombs, and now we're going bomber hunting. How many times have you been in a battle where you've seen fighters go after bombers, they get shot down, because bombers are very very well armed, relatively speaking, and they're capable of you know, shooting a wing off or laying someone on fire. Don't don't let your bombers or excuse me don't let your fighters do the bomber hunting. Let your bombers do the bomber hunting. The H eight K three is perfectly equipped for that. See, we got a P eight and a year two over here. Neither of them are actually making any sort of movement towards me until the year two has decided to turn around after his bombing run. This is where I make my move. This is as close to a boom and zoom as you're going to see in a flying boat. <laughs> I just gotta let my gunners do the work. You see, his gunners are opening up on me. I'm gonna let my side gunners open up on him. But multiple hits, with mostly the small caliber, and the 20 start hitting him. And now he's on fire. Oil tank is on fire. Got a friendly A6M behind him. You better just back off, buddy. This is my kill. <laughs> oh, that's funny shit, man. I'm sorry. That is fun. Anytime you can take out a bomber with a bomber, that's a victory in my opinion. But my bomber hunting would come to an end once I got spotted by a, a Yak 9K. 45mm cannon, unfortunately, will kill anything. As well, as well built as this is, as good as the damage model is, yeah, I managed to get him, he managed to take, take me out. But yeah, the 45mm will destroy this thing in one shot. And that, there's no getting around that. I think you guys want some more bomber hunting, right? Yeah, I, I can I can see it. All right, we're gonna attack this P2. Yeah, I'm in a bomber and I'm actually calling out. I'm attacking a bomber. This is the kind of of arrogance that you end up getting in this, when you fly this thing. It's damn near a hammerhead with this with the H H8K3. We're gonna boom and zoom this P2. <laughs> Just as long as we, we can actually pull out of this thing. The, the elevator is actually quite good. I have ripped my wing, but just the tip of, of it off because of, of excessive speed. But not until like 577 kilometers per hour IAS, so you, you can get going pretty quickly. Here we go. These back gunners are opening up. My front gunners going to open up at any second now. Uh, this is as much fun as it looks, trust me. And look at the speed that we're traveling. This thing is a very fast little little boat. Or do you prefer ship? As in a gunship. That's basically what this thing is. Nothing is really immune from your from your guns. Got this poor little Spitfire.
Poor guy. <laughs> oh, this, this is this is one of the more, more, more fun bombers that I've used. We're gonna get a Soviet yak or lag three. I mean, there we go. Take him out. Anybody else want a one piece? I right, a yak one. All right, take a couple shots at him. Just can't seem to line up my shots, and he's he doesn't seem to want any any of my uh, any of my twenty mil candy here. <laughs> That's okay, we'll go find someone else to shoot at. Alright, guns reloaded. Looks like we have a friend in need. A key 61 is being pursued by an I-16. Well, I know what I can do. Hello, Shoji. That's right, we're, we're gonna zoom climb up here. We're gonna go, we're gonna go get this I-16. Come on. Do we have the power, though? Four little engines. Go. 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 We're losing a lot of speed, though. I-16 is turning, though. That's good. Well, he's being, uh, he's being pursued as well now. That's okay, Kiki. She's doing I got this. I'll save you. I got your back, buddy. Come on, Gunners, go! Come on, get close. There we go! <laughs> fighter Rescuer once again. That's a two-time Fighter Rescuer in this video. Not to mention all the other fighters that we've managed to clean off our own tail. Got a couple of bomber kills. You know, 2300 gold is a lot for this plane, but I have absolutely no regrets about buying it. This has been some of the most fun that I've had in quite some time with a, a, any kind of bomber or even a heavy fighter. This, this is a lot of fun. I recommend you guys taking a look at this. You can fly the the other version that's in the tech tree. It's only got three uh, 20 mil turrets. And uh, if you like that, get, get this thing. And here we go. This is where I actually end up ripping off the, the right tip of my wing. I could go a little too fast. But I'm able to actually keep it up for the rest of the match. It's just one of those things you have to watch. Watch, watch your speed, because you can. This thing is deceptively fast in the dive. Anyway, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care, guys.